Hello, welcome to jasonchats.com. I've got a bit of a pain in the left side of my stomach. Hello. Hope you're well. Hope, hope, hope you're well. Um, it's no Andre today because he's asleep in his bag. He is such a cheeky little monkey. I took him out early afternoon time for a walk. And probably half, five, six, something like that. He wanted to go out again. So if I take him out during the day, it's as if it doesn't count. And when he wants to go out, he doesn't stop. He really insists upon it. And the other thing is, about an hour ago, he was still walking around, following me around, because he wanted to go out again. And it's, what's the time now? It's three minutes to 11. Just, I don't know. It's raining outside. I can't take him out all the time. I can't keep taking him out. You know, I'm doing other things. Anyway, today I managed to record, or managed, I recorded another Let Me Boy You to Sleep session this morning when I woke up. And I have created a new YouTube channel for my chronic pain sessions and it's called Jason Newland's Chronic Pain Relief Hypnosis that's the name of the web the YouTube channel so far there's 29 videos on there I've decided not to upload the long videos the for the individual body parts because I don't know, I think, uh, I don't like them. I'm not sure if they really get much interest, but they might do, I don't know. But I will, um, I've got another, probably about, about 50 altogether, so another, what, 30, about 20 left to upload. But I have to create the videos from audios, um, because those videos have got lost along the way. Um, probably when the YouTube channels stopped. So yeah, I'm feeling all right. Um, cooked something for myself today. Maybe that's why I've got a stomach ache, because I actually cooked some food. Um, so I rarely eat a whole meal. I usually just have sandwiches, and I don't not eat in huge amounts these days. Not that I ever really did eat a huge amount, but. I um what's that? Excuse me. A bit of plastic. Don't know what it is. So uh one of my plans one of my plans is to start producing some regular chronic pain relief sessions. And I had a little bit of inspiration today. I watched a documentary, it was on Channel 5 uh, in England. Um, and it was about someone called, what's her name, Georgia, Georgie or Georgia uh, Rankin. And it's, she's I think the documentary was something like, you know, two inch tall, 18 year old or something. So she's very, she's the size of a two year old, but she's 18 years old. So she's got, uh, I think dwarfism, but it's, um, the titles they give to these documentaries, I think are quite, 
don't know, just a bit tabloid, you know, a bit, um, I don't know, I think it was very uh, respectful towards the subject matter. Anyway, I watched this documentary and it's very, um, I found it very inspirational because all she's gone through and having to deal with being uh, such a small size and still being able to, she's gone and made a YouTube channel, she's, does, she's gone and become a, a, what is it, Ma a makeup artist. Uh, so, you know, and she's got this YouTube channel which is really successful. Um, so, yeah. So I just thought, but the thing is that she got real chronic pain, really seriously bad chronic pain, where she has to take morphine every day, and it kind of got me a little bit more in touch with my original plan, all those years ago, for really focusing on chronic pain relief. And I think I've got distracted along the way. In some ways from that. Because that's all I ever wanted to do. I didn't want to do hypnosis sessions or anything else. Back then. But people kept asking me to do stuff. But asking me that could I do more. I mean the sleep sessions were always the most popular. They Relaxation and sleep. Everything else was, you know, the chronic pain, which is what I wanted to be the most successful, the most popular weren't. I mean, I've, I've had some that were quite popular, but nothing in the the same league as the, you know, the sleep sessions. Although the sleep and relaxation sessions can also be a way to relieve pain. So I just, I'm kind of thinking got the new YouTube channel next week or this coming week it's now Sunday night maybe Thursday I'm going to start a new podcast for chronic pain it's going to be a potentially a daily pain relief session but I'm thinking maybe I should do a weekly pain relief session, you know, every Friday or something like that, every Wednesday. I'm not sure, I just, I'm, I'm building up what I do. And as far as like my workload, um, you say workload, it probably sounds like it's not workload if you don't get paid for it, but it's, you know, I'm making for some, I've managed to be quite consistent recently with the Let Me Bore You To Sleep sessions. I'm starting to get into a routine. There was a couple of days when I missed them, uh, last week or a few days back, but generally I've been quite consistent. And I've only made 10, admittedly I've made 10, but most of those have been 10 in a row, apart from a couple of days uh, missing. But still 10 sessions. So it's kind of like 10 out of 12 days I've done one of those sessions. So I'm quite pleased with that. The hypnotic buffet sessions, I've been pretty consistent with that. Every Monday making a different session. So, and I don't know why, but these Jason Chat videos, I've started becoming quite consistent with these as well. I do these in the evening, you know, near kind of the end of the day. Well, I can tell you about my exciting adventures. So, I'd like to start maybe looking at doing a chronic pain session. Um, I'm not sure how to do it, or not how to do it, but I don't know whether to do an actual long pain relief session where I talk and, you know, do a long session or where it's more 
instructional uh, like I've done before as well. Like I quite like the instructional ones where I'm just saying, here's what you do. It's what you do yourself. It's not necessarily listening to me. It's I'm giving you an idea to, and we can rehearse it and practice it during the video. And I'm thinking of maybe doing videos for those. So instead of audios, I might just... I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm thinking I might just do a video, but I won't just do a video. I'll record it on the audio as well. So I'll maybe... You know, that's what I could be doing, you know. It'd be fairly easy to do. Why am I not doing that? I could record this, even this, because I know the volume isn't particularly huge on these vlogs. But then I'm not talking loudly. You know, I'm quite a soft talker. But I could have my little digital recording studio set up there to record my voice and then just, you know, edit it down so it's connected like that way. So maybe I might do that. I'm not going to do it with the Jason Chats because the point of these, I can record it and upload it straight away on the phone. I'm not sure. Or I might just make audios. And just do what I'm doing with the others. Just, I don't know. I'm not sure. I said, I'm just thinking about it. I'm, it's not going to be something I'm going to do straight away. But, I mean, not today or tomorrow. But I really am thinking about it, though. Thinking it'd be good to start putting a bit of more effort into the chronic pain relief side of things. Because... That's, that's always been my interest, right from 1998, when I first learned about hypnosis, uh, learned that it could be used successfully to help somebody to reduce or increase a physical sensation. So you can increase pleasure, decrease pain, physical pain. And my first initial response really back then was why isn't it being used like all the time? Why is it not, you know, just being used? You know, I'm trying to put words, but mm, yeah, I'm just kind of, it's frustrating, it still frustrates me. Frustrates me. I actually, I went to two hospices one in the previous town I lived, one in the town that I live now. The one I live now, that was about 10 years ago I went there, and both of them weren't interested in having me there doing pain relief with people. And it's just, what's the ridiculous side of it for me is anything that I can do online in person, I can do a lot more. I can be a lot more successful because it's a one-on-one -on -one and I can tailor what I'm doing to suit that person's need and I'm also getting instant feedback and I can change the direction I'm going, I can focus on a, a different thing and they can talk to me and tell me what how they're doing, you know, how they're feeling and what they need, you know, all those things. I can't do that when I make a video on YouTube or make an audio session. Uh, so I'm thinking I'm going to try to do more pain relief, chronic pain relief sessions. And I'm not sure, I guess doing one every day would be a bit of a silly... Um, promise to make really I think it's uh, excuse me I, to be fair even when I started to let me boy the sleep sessions I wasn't planning to do them every day I was just going to do them when and when I felt like it the hypnotic buffets again I wasn't going to do them every week for the first three or four I just did them as and when and then I decided to start doing them I think I started wanted to do them daily then I thought no 
I don't want to do I have that kind of pressure to do something like that daily and then it became weekly and that's worked out quite well for me as far as uh, once a week it just seems to be a nice sort of time, time between each one but with the pain relief there's endless possibilities of ways to reduce your pain chronic pain to actually to feel more comfortable physically and emotionally it's all connected I mean you're not going to feel comfortable physically and still feel crappy emotionally you know and you know you, you've got it both come together so it's I don't know it's I just gotta, gotta think about it so I wanted to say Thank you to those of you that have subscribed and left comments. Not on this channel only, not just on this channel, but also other channels. Uh, the sleep hypnosis one, the chronic pain one, the uh, relaxation one. So I've got now four YouTube channels and I kind of miss having just one channel. But I think it's good to break things up so that you know people that like relaxation or they like the sleep stuff may have no interest in any of the other stuff I do in fact the other stuff might possibly put them off what I do they might think what's this hypnotic buffet bollocks about and why is he doing his Jason chats what is he talking about he's just talking about nothing why uh, what's his bought let me bore you to sleep he's sitting up in bed just talking a bunch of crap just waffling on Droning on and on and on and on. But if someone's interested in the chronic pain sessions, they that might be what they want. They want the pain relief. They want specific targeted stuff. Or, you know, so I'm going to um, try and keep these four channels separate and keep it going like that. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to open any more channels, maybe in a year or so time. But I'm just going to keep these four channels as they are. Everything else I've done is available in different places anyway. All my videos are available on my Vimeo channel. And I'm in the process of organising. I'm going to be organising all the different videos into categories on the Vimeo channel. In the same way last night I was organising the... After I did the video last night, I was doing... Um, will continue to organize my SoundCloud audios into into playlists and I put those playlists onto my website in fact if you go to my website jasonnewland.com at the top in the menu there's a thing called playlists it just says it and you click on that and it gives you all the different playlists that are on you know the mp3 playlists so that's quite cool I'm happy with that um, Yep, so I'm probably going to start a new podcast. I might, maybe I won't make videos. Maybe I'll just do. I like the idea of doing. I like the idea of doing videos for the pain relief. I don't know why. I think it's because when I'm doing pain relief, I'm awake, I'm alert, and you know. When I'm doing a sleep hypnosis session, I'm just like, Ugh. I'm half asleep myself when I do it. I kind of send myself to sleep. And with the relaxation ones as well. And I want to start doing some new relaxation sessions. So I suppose if I could do one new sleep session, one relaxation, one chronic pain session a week. As well as the sleep, bore me, let me bore you to sleep ones. Hypnotic buffets. So maybe if I could do that, it'll be... useful for people it would be you know because some some people I guess just want the relaxation sessions so I'm going to try and do a bit of everything but I, I don't know I just have to figure it out diary wise when a good place or good time to do each one is I'd like to do one of each every day I'd like to do 10 sessions a day but it's practically not possible it's I, I Time-wise, I suppose I do have the time. 
but and there are days when I probably could do that there are lots of days when I couldn't I know so and it's not just about the energy it's not just about my mood it's just not it's not just about that stuff it's also finding a quiet period a quiet time to do this stuff because you know we've got the summer coming up there's going to be lawn mowers outside there's going to be uh, there's a, a man in a plane that likes to drop, ride around or not ride around but pilot around in a plane going up and down and he does that all through the summer so but then you know from another side these aren't professional recordings they're not recording in the studio uh, so there will be background sound sometimes like right now there's rain going but you might not be able to hear that Another thing I've been thinking about is with all the extra cost of the podcasts and everything that I've sort of been paying out for recently, I might, I'm just trying to figure a way where I could perhaps get a little bit of help towards the costs of the podcasts. So maybe, I don't know. I'm not sure if you've got any ideas. I don't really want to set up any kind of official thing. Just those that like what I do maybe can um, you know, pay for the Let Me Bore You to Sleep podcast, which costs me $14 a month to for the hosted of that. It's not a lot. It's not a lot of money. Um, but for me, paying everything adds up when I've got quite a few different podcasts to pay for plus the internet plus the website plus various different things connected to this so it does add up to quite a bit um, just one podomatic podcast for the sleep sessions cost me $20 a month uh, Spreaker I think cost me $19 a month so that's that's forty dollars already just for two podcasts. That's without the other stuff that I've got. I've got two Podbean podcasts, so that's another twenty eight dollars a month for those two. It costs me probably about thirty dollars or something a month for the website hosting, if not more, for my main website. SoundCloud that I pay for and probably other stuff that I pay for that I've forgotten about so yeah YouTube Buddy I pay for that as well which helps me to promote you know to make images and to do stuff on YouTube so it all kind of adds up to a little bit more than what I can really comfortably afford at the moment so I don't know if there's any, I'm probably on the wrong channel asking because this is just the, the vlog in it, but I don't wanna come across as begging, you know, because the money isn't for me. The money is just to help to pay for this stuff. So I don't know. I don't know what to do. Spreaker's quite good although I've not been doing any live broadcasts on there because the internet, I've had problems with the internet, but they seem to be quite good at promoting my stuff on their platform. And I've had 1,600 or something downloads or plays in the last week just from them, in the last seven days. And that's their own, everything I've got is actually on their system. They actually download the sessions onto their own platform. As far as, yeah, I am. Yeah, because they, they have their own separate stats. So the Sleep Hypnosis podcast on Podomatic has a different stats to the Spreaker with the same podcast, the same sessions that updates every time I do a new one. And the same is with the uh, Hypnotic Buffet podcast. Different stats on there to theirs. So it's kind of strange. It's all 
it's a little bit mud, not muddly, but can be a little bit complicated at times to remember what's what. I'm trying to get organized. I really am trying. But uh, at least I didn't put it off. I didn't have put off making new sessions until everything's all uploaded, and everything's all sorted, and the website's exactly perfect how I want it to be. Because ultimately, it's never going to be how I want it to be. It's never going to be perfect. So, at the moment, I'm making, if you include the Jason chats, 15 recordings a day, uh, a week, um, seven videos, seven, let me, seven Jason chats, seven, let me bore you to sleep, and one hypnotic buffet. So, that's what's that, 15 a week. So that's not bad, is it? But I just need to start doing some more stuff. I want to do the chronic pain. That's what I really want to do. So watch this space. I don't know where it's going to be or how it's going to be. And also the difference with the chronic pain is... The difference with the chronic pain sessions is... It gets my creativity going before the session starts. So I actually start planning and creating uh, a pain relief technique or expanding upon one that I know already or looking at it from a different angle. And so there's a, they're the only ones really I ever plan. So I quite like that. I quite like the, I feel almost professional at times. Anyway, I'm going to go. Thank you for watching and listening. And I'm sorry I couldn't show you Andre, but he's fast asleep. And I don't want to get, I don't want to interrupt him because once he's up, he's going to want to run around and misbehave again. So, yeah, if you're in Germany and hope you're safe and stuff after the attack the, there was a, a man in a lorry or van or something that drove into pedestrians yesterday afternoon in Germany so I hope that you know you're safe and uh, you know you're well and that's it really I'm gonna go so this is jasonchats.com my main website is jasonnewland.com and if you just want to go directly to the YouTube channel it's just put in Jason Chats Bipolar Vlog and you'll find me. Bye. Bye. See ya.